She leads the team in points, assists, and steals. She has to be key for this Bobcat squad. She had 11 points against Longwood. One of seven from beyond the arc, Matt. That's not a way she wants to start the game off. If you want to get hot, Jaya McClure, she's got to feel it from deep. Buck guys win the tip. Your officials for the game, Brian Garland, Doug Knight, and Natasha Harris. We'll get things started here on a Tuesday night. Thanks for joining in for Big Ten Plus as Cody McMahon. She commits her first foul of the game. Under head coach McGuff, what you see right here, they're pressing at 94 feet, and they're not stopping any way possible, especially with Taylor Theory, one of the best defenders at any position. Here comes Ohio University putting up the floater as Williams. But McMahon comes down with it, and here come the Buckeyes once again. Ohio State fourth best in the Big Ten in points this year, and there's Rebecca Mikulashikova coming up for a 1,000-point game. She's not stopping anytime soon with the three. There's a reason she's in the top three for three-pointers made. Shoots 40%. That's the elite of the elite, the Sue Birds, the Steph Currys, the Sabrina Ionescu's, and she can even get back on defense where we saw her tip it out of bounds. There's Monica Williams, the freshman guard, a young team for this Ohio team. McClure's three from the right wing. Here comes Cody McMahon. Buckeyes in a scoring drought over two minutes and 20 seconds. Theory to Sheldon. In and out. Theory with the offensive rebound, and she's going in line. These are the freest of points here if you're the Ohio State Buckeyes. Six feet tall from Laurel High School. And she's been getting taller every season. They said she came in at around 5'10". And every time they have that preseason get-together with medical, she says, I think I'm taller. And it actually works. She's grown in height. And that's allowed her to play the guard and the forward. She's that mixture of a two or even a four. McClure one-on-one -on -one against Taylor Theory right now. Goes inside, dishes outside. Cassidy Lafleur checked into the game with the three. Offensive rebound, Ohio. Double dribble will be called on Layla Fantroy. Just got to be careful. Slow the movement down. You got to realize Ohio State will push full court on defense. Just find any open look you can. And there's a bucket from Cody Mick. Celeste Taylor steals it away and a foul. They went through just passing the ball in separate teams. Going to just have to readjust. You can see Coach McGuff is not too happy. McMahon goes inside. Strong finish. Bobcats coming down from Athens, Ohio. Another steal. It's Theory this time. She steals it away. Going up with the layup. A low-scoring quarter. Can Ohio University get out this six-minute scoring drought? They can't with the traveling violation. But that short turnaround, a new team you don't see as, as much, and they play a different game, that can affect you and, and be somewhat of a hangover game. We see that for the Buckeyes. Emma Shoemates three rattles out. Theory offensive rebound. Puts it back. Played really good defense on that, and you could see it. She saw that Sheldon was trying to go for that hop step, use the left foot to go outside of the paint, right to go back right inside of it, and just placed her body in such a good position that that shoulder went from right to left, right into her midsection. She gets a foul on her. That's some of the best defensive play you can do when you're trying to turn the ball over. Theory batted the ball out. Six tenths came off the clock. Now here comes the Ohio State press that's given teams trouble all year long. Ball goes Ohio State's way, another turnover. Trying to get used to the timing of this one. Last possession, Parks feeds inside to Sheldon, and one, count the basket. And they're going to call a traveling violation the other way. Did you see that, Austin? 
Ah, uh, it, it's tough because it looked like that was the play that Alper had gotten with that foul. Look at Sheldon. She just does the one hop. That looked like two clean steps. I'm not really sure what they saw. McClure's basket doesn't end, and Ricky Harris talking to the officials. The Bobcats just scoring six points in the first quarter. They're averaging 68 points per game, fourth in the MAC conference this year. So on this, tr with the way this is trending, might not get to that mark. McClure's gonna have to shoot it one second. Can't get it to go. Actually not a bad shot. With the time she had, able to move her body underneath Celeste Taylor. That's difficult. You gotta be pretty elusive to do that. Theory, she's in the corner now. Dribbles around. And a turnover. Celeste Taylor tried to feed inside to Mikulashikova. Now here comes Kate Dennis blocked by Celeste Taylor. She turns the ball over but redeems herself on defense. Yeah, she makes up for it and that's the easiest way to go. You can see going up using that massive right hand just stopping Kate Dennis who actually leads her side in blocks. So we might see Kate Dennis on that defensive side in just a little bit. One block per game, ninth in the MAC conference this season, as you just mentioned for Dennis. Alper, she was wide open under the basket for the layup, could not convert on the layup. Taylor to Mikulashikova, top of the key for three, hits it. You like those? No don't, complaints. You, you don't expect the five to really be the one shooting a majority of the three pointers, but. With how silky smooth her jump shot is, I mean, A to B, high arc, nothing but net, just back of it in and dropping it. She's got to be feeling confident, especially after hitting a 1,000 points in the Scarlet and Gray. Her six points all have come from beyond the arcs. Big time three. First points of the day, the freshman guard getting involved. Shoots 42% from beyond the arc. It's about as best as you're going to get in any level, whether it's the NBA, WNBA, or in college. When you could shoot it and shoot it as far as she did, you're going to have to put a man on her. It's a nice shot there from Tabaline. Way better than mine, I'll tell you that much. She's from Seymour, Indiana. Mikulashikova, she spins around. Left side of the basket gets the friendly roll. There's Tabaline. She had the three-point shot earlier, and a traveling violation will be called. Ohio University, 11 turnovers to Ohio State's eight. The Bobcats averaging 24 turnovers a game, last in the MAC. Mikulashikova, count it! And strength over her, that once you start seeing two Bobcats go on the person down low, we might see a little bit more three-pointers going. Matt, you're just going to have to find the open woman. Mikulashikova completing the three-point play. Ohio State up 24 to nine, out of bounds, especially this early in the game. They average 24 turnovers a game. That's the halfway mark already. Th that's that's not a good number. No way to put it. Cody McMahon for three. In the corner. McMahon, three. McMahon continues to ascend every game for Ohio State. McClure, she's trapped around the outside, gives up to Mace. A deep two. McMahon comes down with the rebound. Theory goes inside for two, an easy layup. Here comes McClure. She's so speedy through traffic. She weaves. Cross court pass. Shoemate in the corner for three. Connects. We understand that T Mike was our main three point shooter. She led the team in minutes, three point made, and three point shots. She was in all of those. We have ourselves a turnover. Taylor almost tried to finish inside. Now it's back outside, Ricky Harris moving it around. Shoemate in the other corner for three. Both corners, Emma Shoemate makes the big shot. And it has been working to perfection. Mace drives inside against Shoemate. Good tip by Parks. Here come the Buckeyes in a two on three. There's Shoemate, she's got the hot hand right now. Ohio State will reset. Why not try it again if you can find her? Shoemate moving around off ball right now. Buckeyes trying to figure out their play. There's Shoemate again from the same spot. Oh my God, Emma Shoemate back to back to back. Three point makes. 
and here comes a turnover. Shoemate for three. She was hit that time, the heat check. And get those free points. Kennedy Watkins. Now she could space the floor to her pleasing. Under a minute to go, Shoemate. Another three. Four three of the day for Shoemate. Emma Shoemate on fire with 12 points just in the second quarter alone. What can't the West Virginia transfer do? It's been lock, stock, and two smoking barrels for Emma Shoemate from both corners. You see that one. Why not go for the third from that far corner? All the same outcome. Nylon, nylon, nylon. And here comes a turnover for the Bobcats. Buckeyes convert. Collins, she'll go to the line. Use too much of her arms and just hit the arm of Diana Collins. Can't complain about that. And the 100% mark breaks that time with the miss. The announcer's jinx at its finest, Austin. I apologize. 42 to 13, Ohio State leads. Just 10 seconds to go here in the first half at Value City Arena. McClure inside. A little too strong. The ball's going to be tipped out. Especially Kennedy Watkins. She gets an open look here going cross court. She might shoot it. Watkins. Can't do anything there. But once it gets down to the lesser minutes of the quarter, do not be surprised to be seeing her sitting at the scorer's table and, and just getting ready to let it loose. Ohio State, 42 points in the first half. Sheldon goes inside. J.C. Sheldon is just two points today. She's the leading scorer coming to the game, averaging well beyond 17 points per game. Taylor with another block. McMahon outside a theory for three. Alper comes down with the rebound for Ohio. And that was just a miscommunication between Celeste Taylor and Taylor Theory. Both went for the offensive rebound. Both came out of their hands, and Alper came away with it for free. Zero points today for Celeste Taylor. She had 12 last game at Tennessee. Every other player on the floor for Ohio State has scored today. Alper dishes it outside of Watkins for three. 17% from beyond the arc, so she may not try it much. There's McMahon for three, blocked by Watkins, who just had the three, but the save inside a theory, and she's going to shoot two at the line. There's a reason she has been so dominant and on the floor, as much as the numbers may not show for it. In, so she's been expected to do so much in this Bobcat team that's two and three under Coach Bolden. Theory has 11 points, tied with Miku Washikova, second highest on the team today behind Shoemate. So three Buckeyes in double digits now. Now the Bobcats look to... Add some more points on the area. Have three to start off the second half. Monica Williams gives up to Alper. Long arc that time, short shot. Sheldon outside of Taylor. Still scoreless today. Just 10 on the shot clock. Takes a deep two off the back of the iron. Offensive rebound. Miku Lashikova, what a pass. Early on this season. And a steal there from Celeste Taylor. Can she turn into offense with a point? Theory goes inside. 18 as well for Taylor Theory. Here at home. And that's not even the team leading. J.C. Sheldon has 20. You're a Buckeye fan with just two points. But good defense as always. And good defense once again. It's Miku Ashikova. It's like she's a cornerback out there. She read that pass to perfection. Sheldon looking around the corner. She'll take it back up top. Theory feeds inside the give and go. Like the quarterback once again with the handoff. McMahon inside. He's not afraid to make contact and get to the line because she likes the opportunity to shoot free ones. She loves the way her game has gone. I think she likes those free points even better. And, of course, broadcaster curse again. McMahon goes one for two at the line. Traveling violation. So just three points still have been scored by the Bobcats so far. Over two minutes of a drought right now. Trying to switch the bodies on the floor, see if anybody can find the hot hand, and, and Tabling's the freshman. Sheldon skips the pass to Taylor for three. Celeste Taylor, her first big time shot, and a confidence booster. Almost an interception there for McMahon. The friendly bounce from Fantroy. Really utilized them. McMahon from the skip pass for three. Off the back of the iron, 
It's going to stay here. So many good players on this Ohio State squad, and Madison Green hasn't even stepped on the floor yet to guard this certain player. As crazy as it is, I, as of recent, she's got the hot hand. But then, of course, you have McMahon. I really think it's Taylor Theory. She has been unstoppable in every facet of the game. The fact of anybody in that start, they're all difficult to stop. It's not a, a one or, or two woman game. And this team went to the Elite Eight last year in the NCAA postseason tournament. Hopes to go to Cleveland this year for the Final Four. And you have to think if they get to Cleveland, it will be Buckeye dominated crowd. McMahon, count it! Matt, interested to see if she can get three pointer number five and maybe even help it on the def it's defense or offense. And if somebody's having an off day, she's not afraid to step up. We saw it last year in their second game against Michigan. This one was at Ann Arbor in the Chrysler Center. And she led the team in scoring and rebounding and had three steals. Like, she can do anything she has to alongside the great pieces that build upon it. Skip pass, shoemate, the three of the day. I'm Who's going to stop her from over there, Matt? I don't think anybody on this floor, I don't think you and I, I don't think anybody in this arena can get in front of Shoemate and stop her right now. The hottest of hands. Five three-pointers for Emma Shoemate leading the way in scoring for the Buckeyes, tied with Theory at 15. McMahon with the spin move down the left side. Let her cook indeed. And an interception by Mikulashikova playing all the roles today. McMahon. It's too easy. And that dominant like Cody McMahon has, Kennedy Watkins. Earlier, she had the nosebleeds. Now here comes in transition Ohio University. Outside, Monica Williams, three. Did she call Banks? It's your first shot of the game. You got to be feeling confident. Even though it's a little bit too late into this one, you have to realize you play Syracuse at home for your next game. It's another Power 5 team. That's the ACC. They're good at ball. That is no easy task for Bob Bolden. Bring the ball over 24 times today. And they've hit that margin. It, we'll see if they get to 25 with their passes and the way they move the, the ball up and down the court. We could see well over 30. You didn't want to hit if your head coach, Bob Bolden. Maddie Mace, the pump fake, goes inside. No foul called. You could see she was a little bit too soft with her landing on the ground. Shot clock turned off now, less than 15 to go in this quarter. Ohio State looking to hold on for the last shot. Inside Walker. And a foul. Shoemate was open. You had Parks open. You had Walker open. Until she decided just to make sure that you didn't go get two. And they at least got one out of it. Ebony Walker trying to follow her own shot. Players on the ground. We're going to get a held ball. How will Ohio State end this third quarter? Harris, you have to throw it up at the buzzer. And there's a reason that this Ohio State team is in it for the long haul, trying to get back to that mountaintop in Lady College Hoops. Led Ohio State two years ago to be Big Ten regular season champs. Co-champs with Iowa to be exact. 28-8 last season in 2022. As I mentioned earlier, an Elite Eight appearance for the Buckeyes. That's the farthest a Coach McGuff team has gone at in his time at Ohio State. Here's Kaya Henderson, gives up to Tyre Parks. In Parks with her first. But it's okay, because Ricky Harris went right up to her, hand on her shoulders and said, hey, you know, it, it's all right, just reset. We got time. And when you see teammates doing that, whether it's a six man or a starter, of course you did see that foul be given to Parks. Henderson under the basket all alone, her first points of the game. But what if we both wear blue? Then that could be an issue, right? It depends. It depends on the shade. It's an only an issue if we make it an issue. Not an issue for me. Big time three, Silky. And now she's calling for an overhead pass. So watch more of a lob pass, trying to get back out, see if she can find an open look. Henderson running down the baseline, feeds inside to Park. She's going to shoot two at the line. Carla Fresh, who's going to be gone, some depth down low. So you lose both of your tallest. Losing all these players. So you're seeing some of the future of Ohio State right here. When you look for some of the future players in Taylor Theory, Emma Shoemate, Ebony Walker, Cody McMahon especially, mm -hmm. do you feel like Ohio State's still in good hands? Greater Atlanta area in all of Georgia and just high school basketball history, over 2,000 points. So there is a little bit of a grace period where you do have to get used to it. not afraid to go around the country to find the best of the best. And why would they not want to come here to Columbus? They have the opportunity to fill some spots. 
obviously with recruiting, but also the transfer portal is now a big thing in all of the NCAA. He's really very similar to the SEC. It seems that in every sport now at this point, we're neck and neck with greatness. Both of them are great in their own rights, but one you always consistently see is like out of Coach McGuff's book. Asaya Baxter tried to make the 19 total today, not the Ohio State team we usually see in terms of discipline but a silky smooth three if it's as strong as it was last season we're looking to see some of the best basketball in the country men's or women's Ohio State's got a tough schedule and starts this upcoming week on Sunday with Penn State they'll finish out here as Emma Shumay drives inside with the left. they'll look forward to playing Penn State and then they have UCLA coming up real soon whether you're a fan or you're the coaches, you're looking ahead and going, all right, you know, these are teams you haven't seen very often unless you're in a, a special tournament bracket. Bingo! Six three-pointers. Got the hot hand. There's no stopping Shumay today. Bobcats moving around now. Barnett's three. That's where you get those free fouls. Henderson to Collins for three at the left wing. Long off the rim, and Shumay tries to go down with the offensive rebound. From American University, a Croatia native. Shumay at the line, leading the way once again for Ohio State with 22 points. It's a miraculous day from outside. And she hasn't had to do much on the defensive end, luckily. Because if they were able to see her dominance there as well. Just a minute and 30 seconds to go. Walker, she gets the ball stolen away. Just three seconds now. She gets it back. Henderson with the floater gets the friendly roll. Clock's going down. He just got to force something up. And even that was a good look. Barnett's look from the right wing too strong. 37-point lead for Ohio State. Now it's getting bigger. Henderson, the most efficient player today, 3 of 3. Johnson with 2. Under a minute to go here at Value City Arena. 82 to 45 in favor of the Buckeyes. And Ohio State shooting real well today from the charity stripe, from the field, from downtown. Out rebounding, they did everything right. And Collins adds to that now. 40 point lead for the Scarlet and Gray. And the fact that Shoemate passed up a three on that to make sure that her teammate had a better look shows that chemistry. As you put the selfish numbers aside and you just play team basketball, you give it to Collins, she makes a three, feels more confident about her game. As it winds down, doesn't matter the numbers when your team wins as big as they do by 40. Everyone from top to bottom on that bench has to be feeling very confident.